Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. It's that time again, the beginning of December and we'll be giving away our free Nintendo Switch game to the patron and the subscriber most active on the channel, which just really means the people that leave comments and are generally engaged. In the next couple of days, I'll reply randomly to one of you down below with the words, congratulations, you've won a free game. Now I've been wanting to review Pine for a very long time and in fact when I saw the upcoming trailer on the eShop I thought my goodness this looks incredible. However alarm bells began to ring when Congregate didn't provide us with a code until launch day. It's always something that Glenn and I kind of notice. So this isn't going to be our normal format of review and I think you're about to see why. Let's jump into the video. When I initially booted up Pine, I was gripped with a quite engaging story, but that wasn't the only thing that gripped me. Unfortunately, from a visual standpoint, the game is nowhere near what you would expect from a finished product. And this is with the day one patch that launched with the title. Just to kind of re-emphasize that point, I'm going to leave this little loading screen up in the top corner while I'm doing the rest of this video. You control your character from a third person perspective with no motion controls to speak of on the Switch version and the trigger buttons being also used to swing your sword or block with your shield. Pressing the plus button is going to bring up your inventory which will be full of crafting gear. Now unfortunately that's about as far as I'm willing to go in terms of describing the gameplay. The intent of the game was to have this living breathing world where whereby your progress affects the villages around you. You can donate to different ones, making factions like you more and others dislike you. And the whole experience should be something that feels incredible. But unfortunately, the visuals are absolutely broken. Not only does the frame rate shift from the mid to high 20s into the 30s and then back into the 10s, it took me around about four to six minutes to get into the game because the load screens and load times are incredibly long. In fact, my daughter thought the Nintendo Switch had broken while we waited for the game to load. As worrying as that is, it's that in-game performance which is the real issue. While the trailers showed off lush grass extending as far as the eye can see, the Nintendo Switch version has none of that clarity. The shadow maps are borderline ridiculous. Just check these bad boys out. You can see individual squares. I believe there's around about 27 squares per character shadow. Anti-aliasing is a real issue with jagged the edges on every item of the world. Textures are, well, they are mud. They're not muddy, they are actual mud. And with the only saving grace visually being your character's design, however, the way they run and jump also is quite poor. If you remember the game Turok the Dinosaur Hunter back on the N64, then you'll know what I'm going to say next. The fog is real. This is a title whereby you should be looking over distant vistas. And in fact, I've used a screenshot from 4K PS4 and PC version on a thumbnail because it was the same one they used to promote the title. Let's have a little look at the audio of the game then because surely it can't all be so bad. Well, I think I've made a small little musical loop for you to enjoy just to give you a flavor of some of the charms that Pine has to offer on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> The next major issue that I've faced with the title is that I've been game-breakingly stuck several times in the scenery. So much so that you'll be running along and in the distance you'll see a group of trees. Upon arriving to the trees, they're not there anymore. You run into the area and they suddenly load on you and you'll find yourself stuck inside of a rock with the only option being to reload, which obviously takes four or five minutes, if not longer, which is absolutely infuriating. The in-game map is also borderline useless, pointing you in a general direction, but you'll find that your waypoints often disappear from the game. It honestly became farcical. I actually made you a small reel of my highlights upon exploring the lush, charming world of pine. Check this out. Yeah. 
As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit annoyed by Pine. It built itself up to such a high level and it looked great and look on PC, it runs completely differently. But for my money, there's no excuse releasing a game like this. In fact, credit where it's due. Decay of Logos, which was another title that I was interested in, at least they postponed their title. We also saw it on Remothered. They didn't release the game, they said, you know what, we're going to wait, push it back a little bit, we don't want any reviews, just, just leave it, and we'll work on it. And they did, and it's come back, and it's a much better, more playable title. But this is absolutely unacceptable, and I genuinely feel sorry for anyone that's gone out and bought the game already. Even the textures on the world map itself, as I mentioned, are really blurry, and that's just completely unnecessary. So, I'm not going to give it a final switch up score, I'm going to let you deduce what I think of this one. If the developers go out of their way, take the effort and time needed to improve the title, then by all means I'll have a proper look at it. But as it stands right now, it is an absolute unequivocal avoid for me, and the visuals and audio and controlling performance are diabolical. And I'm sorry if you did go out and buy the game when you saw the lovely eShop trailer. A big thanks to all of you who support the channel, who enjoy the content. I do hope I haven't been too harsh, but do you know what? I don't really care. I think you guys would rather save your money. A big thanks to our patrons who support us each and every month. If you want to join them, well, all the links will be down below. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!